my name's Adam. I'm the owner of Vintique Motors, and today I want to do a quick walk around in the sun on this 68 Ford F-250 High Boy, uh, and we'll take it for a little driving demonstration. So this one is from uh, Pacific Northwest, sold new there. Uh, always maintained uh, residency in Washington until uh, late 2022, when I went to a collector client of mine who uh, collects CJs and vintage trucks, diesel trucks, uh, down in Florida. Uh, and I acquired it from him, uh, along with that big green beauty over there. This one's finished in, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact term Ford called this blue, but I think it's Harbor Blue. Um, there is some refinishing, so down this panel, it's been repainted, but this is original, the door is original, the hood has been redone. So, paint has been upkept as needed so it's probably 60 65 percent original paint um, with just some areas uh, refreshed repainted the bumper the grill and the wheels are all powder coated uh, pale white look really good the mirrors I believe are too got this nice worn winch up front this was added uh, sometime around 2014, I believe, with the front extended bumper. This one has the 300 cubic inch inline six, four speed manual, uh, 410 rear end, Dana 60 axle. Uh, so it's a sump holder, it's a beast, you know. Uh, let's go for a ride, hop on in. They don't call these high boys for nothing. You gotta hop on in. So pretty Spartan, this is the base model. Uh, you just got heat, no uh, radio. Um, got your gauge package up front here. Got alternator, fuel, speedometer, temp, and oil. Current odometer is 20,694. I uh, do not know if that's the original mileage, uh, so we're gonna assume TMU, total mileage unknown. Uh, but uh, if it is awesome, if not, you know, it's probably 120,000 if it's a uh, legit um, working since new. Uh, we got a, a trailer brake controller over here. Um, do not know if that works. To be honest, I have not tried it. I've not hooked up a trailer to this truck um, and it does not light up for me. So I uh, don't know if it works, but it's there. It might, might be easy to get working if you're inclined to do so. Fire extinguisher over there. Uh, dash is nice, no cracks in it. It's probably be been redone. Uh, it looks uh, a little nicer than uh, you'd think a dash from 68 would be. Just a very minor paint imperfections over here on the painted dash. But other than that, pretty nice pickup. Good for a ride. This one's a pretty much a cold start. I literally just pulled it outside and parked it right here. It's been running for you know, uh, 45 seconds and then sitting in this position here for 15, 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead and give her a fire. Fire's right up. First gear is a crawler gear and I usually start in second, but we're gonna start in first just to show you guys it works. Probably top out around eight miles an hour in first gear. So while we're waiting for some traffic to clear, uh, we're gonna be offering this truck on Bring a Trailer. Um, I've been selling on Bring a Trailer since 2015, coming up on my 200th listing, so I've been doing this a long time. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, please reach out via the contact seller button. Be happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, also, if you need a shipping quote, um, just reach out via the contact seller button with your zip code, and I can get you lined up. Um, I possibly might be able to get this shipped and closed. It just depends on which companies are able to do it. I've shipped big trucks like this and closed before, but for the most part, I'd expect a, an open carry. And if you've never driven one of these old pickups, they are bouncy. So do not expect to brand new F250 or 150. Ride quality. 
This one has power steering, has power brakes. So we're gonna be selling another uh, big F-250 like this, a 72, which does not have power steering, um, which is ironic considering that's a Ranger model, which is a higher trim level. Uh, but this one, the option from the factory with it. I'm starting out in second gear. These uh, 300 inline sixes make a lot of torque. truck. The tires, I believe, if I remember from the receipt file, are from 2006. Uh, there's no dry rotting or cracking. They still got lots of tread left on them. And, uh, you know, for the most part, this is a, you know, a farm truck or a back roads truck or if you're in the city, you're not going to be going over 40 miles an hour with it. So they're pretty good for that. Popped down into fourth. Sounds like it's got a slight exhaust leak from the manifold, but I'm willing to bet that uh, as the engine temperature warms up, that'll die down a little bit as the gas it expands. I'm sure you can hear it now. So there, it went through that S curve at, at fourth gear, about 25 miles an hour, tons of torque. Just pop her back into third, get some speed going. Got a beautiful Michigan spring day, 80 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Perfect day to go driving some vintage trucks. I'll go ahead and turn around here. Brakes work great too, FYI. Don't expect, uh, you know, like I said br earlier, brand new F250 or 150 uh, ride quality. And uh, same with the braking. So give yourself a little time with these vintage trucks, but they do work great. Shifting is excellent too. It goes into all the gears nice and smooth. This one is equipped with four-wheel drive. It does work. This S curve in fourth gear. Lots of torque. The speedo is a little bit jumpy. I'm looking at our gauges. All of them appear to be working aside for our temp gauge, unless it's just taking its sweet time uh, heating up. It does not appear the needle has moved. Love this harbor blue paint. What a great color.
get no AC, just heat. We've got a pretty robust history file on this truck, which will be included in the gallery, all the paperwork and documentation for it. Whoops, I'm trying to jump into second gear here. This video was informative, shows you uh, how fun these old trucks can be to drive, and if you have any questions, please reach out via the contact seller button.